Skiff. I promise you at least a heads up if I recall. Just in case you missed it. Uh, Salma did exactly pretty much what we expected her to do. What I expected her to do. I don't know how much time you got left. Recommend you let Galen and Bob know if you got the chance. Just in case they ain't got their scanners for whatever reason or they can't access their KIAs. You're a fugitive now, a sympathizer. I don't believe there's a kill on sight order, but I would not take it as a good sign. I got three pieces of advice for you, and then you're never gonna hear from me again. One, leave Natalie behind. You try to talk to her, enlist her help, you're gonna get her killed. You don't want that. Two, don't go back to Electric Dreams. We will find you there. Three, if your heart is getting in the way of your survival, you ought to kill your heart. Get out of L.A. while you still can. You ready? No, but I say we do this anyway. Got a couple things to run by. Yeah. The big guy, you want to go over him real quick? Sure, sure. Might as well. Well, going to reveal to him that I'm the one that wrote the report on the Nakayama abduction. I was the anonymous agent. 
Right. Uh, and we've determined why Nakayama was abducted, or at least the principal part of how and why he was abducted. Okay. You need to yeah. speak about Electric Dreams, that it's a replicant front. You need to speak on the conduct of Bob, Skiff, and Galen, predominantly Skiff, and what we heard about what Nara shared with him. Yep. We do need to discuss the breaches in the department, the potential for moles. Right. But the, the question I have is if we implicate Tyrell, or if we leave it a bit more vague for now. I don't know how Holden's going to react. I also don't know how Holden's going to react with this information. Well, especially concerning Tyrell, but... I think at this point he's got to know. All right. So he might not be happy, but I think I he'd mean, prefer the truth I, than not. I think, yeah, he would prefer the truth, so... All right. You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. Um... And I lead us in, I open the door to Holden's office. Hello? Hello? Hey there, boss. We've got some uh, information for you. Okay. Well, Sawyer, um... Would you like to start us off? Hello, sir. Sawyer? Um, we have a lot of information to catch you up on over the past week or so, maybe a little longer. Um, first and foremost regarding the Nakayama abduction. Uh, I just wanted to inform you that I was the I was the person in the field that was uh, witnessing that happen that saw it happen and wrote that report oh you were were you I was I don't know if you suspected or not but no you were the last one I would have expected for something like that it was uh Necessity. I saw an opportunity and I took it. And I, it's important for you to let me know that. Why? Sir, um, it's the truth. What else are we going to do? Not tell you? Do you want something, Sawyer? I've been working closely with Selma or the last little while. I'm trying to... Yes, sir, I'd like to request to be reinstated in the Blade Runner program. This is something I would personally vouch for, sir. Well, would you? Yeah. If it makes a difference. Let's hear the rest of what you have to say and why three of my best officers are now wanted. Well, we could certainly start with, um, what I don't know. And, uh, I think a lot of that is, um, this road that they seem to be going down, I don't know what it is, but it some kind of team effort and um they're not as uh, dedicated people as i thought there's a lot between skiff i think a few others you think or you mm. know is this a kill on site situation That's a good question, sir. I'm 
My instinct is telling me yes. Sawyer, what do you think? I saw a great deal of erratic behavior from... from Bob. Lots of, uh, emotional vacillation back and forth. I'm not sure how steady he is on these new ideals of his. Aelin seems a bit more guarded. It's hard to tell. But Skiff seems utterly won over by these... ideas. I know what the law says. But given that they are members of the LAPD, former members of the LAPD, it might be prudent to bring them in alive. But again, I know what the law says. For once, the law is finally on our side. Selma, what's your take on Galen and Bob? Well, Bob's angry. Um, I think he's angry at himself. Still trying to figure that one out. Do you think he can be flipped? <laughs> I'm not sure about that, sir. I think he's certainly flipping in one direction right now, and that's not in line with the LAPD. What I can tell you is that, from what I have heard from Galen himself, is that he has never retired a replicant. Not even once. And I'm curious as to how he even got that position, but I think that's a conversation for another day. If I'm to be honest, sir, I'm not sure I can trust either of them at this point in time. Okay, Skiff and Galen are kill on sight. Bob, we'll try to bring him in. Understood. And Sawyer, you bring me a replicant, and I'll get you a badge. Deal? Of course. Dismissed. Yes, sir. And I stand up. And, uh, walk out. I follow. And we'll stay with you two to see what you talk about next. All right. Look at you. Well, hey. <laughs> that hey. shouldn't be... Hmm? You did well. Thank you. You did. And... I think Holden will really see that you're dedicated. I'm nervous, Sawyer, but I think this is, I think this is going to go in our favor. I think so too. Only real question is, uh, what do we do now? Well, my morning routine this last week has been practicing uh, hardening my heart. I'm, I'm looking at this logistically, logically, statistically, and I don't see any way that we could feasibly remain on good terms with any of our partners. So, your former partners, they made that very clear. I was never one of theirs. Right. No, that's fair. Listen. This is going to get real hairy. Probably very fast. But I got your back. And I got yours. I appreciate that. 
I could use a coffee before we get this day started. What do you think? Yeah, sounds good. All right. And I'll do this with my hands and I'll walk outside, head to the, uh, head to Lil's for a little coffee, a little pick-me-up. I'm on the edge of my bed, looking out my view of all my view from my apartment. There's someone in my bed. They shake their foot. Hey. Hey. What? 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 You need to leave. <sighs> okay. It was fun. Yeah. Hey. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you think about replicants? What the fuck kind of question is that? Yeah, you're right. Okay, all right, well, vid me or don't. See you around. Maybe. Right. I stand up and walk over to the window. It's a surprisingly nice apartment. Expensive. A lot of space. A long window, a horizontal window, covers most of the apartment. And it gives me a view that most people would kill for. I walk over and I look down to see how far I can see but I'm too high up to see the ground I look over into the mess and there's a hell of a mess in here a beautiful apartment covered in mistakes. Drugs and alcohol litter the floor. Clothing, a lot of it that doesn't belong to me. The smell of excess. I look for my clothes. And I find... Martinez's necklace. I hold it for a long time. I 
I look at it and I and I think to myself should I even keep this anymore what would Martinez say if she knew If she knew that I hadn't been doing my job, do I even still have a job? Am I going to die? Are they going to come for me? put the necklace on and I try to figure out what I'm going to do I look for my Kia Is the APB there? Yes, absolutely. I stare at it. I have in disbelief. Did I get them killed? staring at it um, a call comes through it's someone you recognize hello I'm going to keep this short because I don't have a lot of time we're giving up find each other how do we find each other I look at the Kia one last time and I break it over my knee. You see him, um, see Skiff walking along a familiar street. Turns down a familiar alley. 
And the familiarity is his. It's been a long time, but... He has a few people he can go to. And he picked the one he could trust the most. Now, did you want me to, um, um, roll connections or something? Okay. Where do you think you're meeting, though? Because I know it's not where you <clears throat> expect. Would you go to where they recommend? No, I would. Okay. It's more of, uh, using couriers, sending messages. Oh, okay. Getting getting word out to the right person. I'm trying to find Nara. No, I know, but if 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 Nara were to give you an address in which to meet her, would you go there or would you recommend something else instead is what I meant? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, I would go there. Okay. Selma knows my haunts. Okay. If I were to pick a place, it would have to be a random place, so better place that one of us knows than neither of us. All right. Then you are at Wallace. What do I see? I think you're meeting probably in an office area. Um, it's not probably as crazy big as Tyrell at this stage. Again, I know I've mentioned this a couple times, but Wallace is kind of a little guy right now, dealing mostly in patents. In a few years, they're going to have a patent that solves the food crisis. Um, but Right now, they're still um, tiny. I have no idea what just happened there. With the, oh, is OBS dying? No, okay. Sorry. Um, oh, but yeah, now they're, Twitch, Twitch yeah, that was super weird. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it, uh, right now they're still a little bit of a small fry. Um, at least they appear to be. Uh, have lots of money, uh, so the offices are nice, but small. It's not some big giant like you would see with uh, Tyrell, although it is in a similar, in that same sector. So you're somewhat near Tyrell. Um, but I think Nara just immediately, like you get shown in immediately, um, maybe by one person, maybe they take you around the back. It seems like she's trying to respect the fact that you don't want to be seen here. Uh, and then she just sits and is sipping tea and waits for you to speak first. Trust is a hell of a thing, isn't it? Indeed I, uh, it is. You trust someone with your life. Trust someone with your emotions and your secrets. With never a thought that they may that they hold something in greater esteem than the partnership you share or shared, I guess now. I would willingly have taken a bullet for her and probably for any of them. But I never thought I thought I thought it would be the other one. The wannabe Blade Runner. He's the one who gave me the heads up. 
Imagine that. Now here we are. Sorry I couldn't help you more. But, um... But you're here. I'm here and now. And... You were turned in by your partner? So I assume that means you made a decision? I did. I have. I wanted to go on being a cop. Doing the right thing. What I thought and knew in my heart was the right thing. <clears throat> but it seems that um, the one person that I thought I could trust So here I am. Put me to work. Well, having you in the LAPD would have been far more valuable. I know, thanks. I have other uses. No, I'm not suggesting you don't. Just the plan and the thought I had put behind it was assuming that you were not being hunted like the rest of my children. So that changes things a little bit. How do I know this isn't a trick? What can I do to prove it to you? I don't know. That's why I asked. You're just gonna have to trust me, I guess. Not good enough, I don't think. Well, let my actions speak for my let my actions speak for me then. Like I said, put me to work. I'll with you don't have to trust me, you don't have to give me any inner workings. You don't have to I just need a place to sleep. For now. That can be anywhere. I'm not picky. You can withhold your trust or judgment of me until I do something for you. All right. I'm still a cop in my mind, though, and in my heart, so please be reasonable. I'll get you a place to stay. Do you have a preference as to sector? No. I'd rather not someplace that was upper class. I was I just really, going to ask how you handle clean air. I really don't fit in there. I prefer the, well, all the smells, the taste of the air. I don't know how I'd live with all that oxygen. Might kill me. <laughs> Who else knows? Who else knows what? About you wanting to help me. Is that uh, what you told your partner? Does the LAPD know you're coming to help me? Wallace? Yes. The entire LAPD knows that I am a sympathizer. And they know that I had contact with you at the very least. When I put my earpiece away during our conversation, I really did that. They don't know what we said after that. But they do know I met with you and do know what was said up till that point. So assume they know all of that. And the longer I stay here, the more danger I am in. Because the first place they're going to check is Electric Dreams. Yes. And the second place they're going to check is here. And the only reason why I agreed to come here 
It's because of the security that you have. It'll be harder for them to get in here if they don't want, you know, they'll need a warrant. They don't want to get sued, so on and so forth. Yeah, they can't, they won't be able to get in here, at least not right away. That's why I came. Okay. I will... I will get you a place to stay, and you can hide out there for a few days until I figure out what we're going to do next, but I need to get my people out of Electric Dreams. That would be a good idea, because they're raiding that I'm sure within the next few days, if not tomorrow. But a smart person like you has contingencies. We do. I figured. Sorry I put you in this position, but I didn't see myself in it either. It was part of the risk. <clears throat> yeah. You're a valuable you asset. Heart. Yeah. That's the funny thing. You say I'm a valuable asset. called me friend. God damn, that hurts. It's just a different Fucking language, hurts. Skiff. It's just a sure. different language. Sure. Out the hallway, three doors down, left side. Wait in there. I have to make a call. Okay. Got a magazine or anything? I just came here with the clothes on my back. I mean, you're welcome to any of the I'm objects in there, but... Kidding. I'm kidding. We're gonna have to get used to that. I'll see you when I see you. And I take off to where she said. sitting in a very shitty cab on the ground. I've got a um, destination in mind when I get a message on my KIA. I bring it up to look at it. I don't recognize the source, but I recognize the words. Yama washes, severed away, Zenbu. Down there. Sudorita. Galen. Said that to me one time when he picked me up. Sitting in the rain. next to the memorial wall. There's another notification I didn't even recognize. I switch it over and I see the... the call for us. Our names, just as... old and... I don't know, I put it down. And then I think better of it. I throw it out the window. I type in a new destination. And it's not too that? far away. <laughs> I'm heading to the memorial wall with her name on it. Okay. It doesn't take very long. Yeah. I'm just thinking, who knows that you go here? Galen, right? Okay. I don't know if he's going to be here. Okay. That message could be read as, remember when I said this to you. But it's also oh, about okay. water running 
flowing underground. He could be telling me he's gonna hide. I don't know. I won't know. Okay. But I'll risk it. I have to. I can't leave him out in the wind. I watch the rain fall as we turn down one street and then the next. I'm not really worried about anybody recognizing me or pointing anything out. Not yet. When I finally arrive, I get out and I am more aware of how exposed I am. So I look around. I'm hoping to see Galen. But I'm only going to stay there a minute. I scan the crowd. It's sparse. It shouldn't be hard. I can't help but my eyes do linger on the wall. But I make myself look away. Not now. Not now. Okay. Come on. Do you have any change, sir? I turn around. Of course he'd be behind me. I don't say anything when I see him. I nod towards the cab that I had running, just sitting there. And then I start walking towards it. I get in and wait until he does too. If there's anybody else around, I beg for some change. Some chin yin here and there. Question. I went out on a bender last night. Have I recuperated any resolve? I will push this roll then. Okay. Same thing, unfortunately. I'll, um, I'll push too. Okay. Wow. Wonderful. Um, I got a two. Yes. So I got uh, a zero. Yeah. Galen pushed and got the same result, which was the zero. However, um, Bob rolled a two, which is a success and then a critical. So we're going to say that for whatever reason, um, you know, Bob, you have taken care of it. So you're going to cancel out Galen's failure here and you're not going to be caught on CCTV. So why don't you describe what happens? As soon as I get into the car, I know this area really well. I come here so often. So I have the car pull past one of the buildings. It is dark there. This isn't a good part of town. As soon as the car gets into that space, it's just a shadow itself. So 
If Galen walks over, he will be too. I don't look in his direction. I'm looking out the window at the brick wall I'm next to. Did you see the APB? Yeah, I saw it. I was, uh, I, w I don't know if I would have, if you hadn't messaged. I just wasn't. What do we do? I know what I want to do, but what do we do? What do you want to do? I need to find Sam. Then we go find Sam. I don't hesitate. I resume the original address in the car. The car begins to head in the direction of section one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find him, Galen. I'm so confused. This is such shit. There weren't too many ways this could go. After what happened with Selma and Sawyer. I'm sorry, Bob. Yeah. I can't... I can't fault them, I guess. I, I don't know. I mean... Doing the job, right? Doing the job. I guess it had to be them, right? Yeah. There were only... Well, it was only us that knew. Right? Yeah. Could it have been anybody else? Maybe, but I don't know. I mean, Selma was so mad. After she yelled at you, she kept going a little bit. And then, after she left, <sighs> talked to Sawyer. And he was pissed off. Maybe more so. I couldn't. I couldn't put into words what I was feeling. I don't, but I don't think I helped. Did you trash the KIA? Yeah, it's gone. Weapons. I still have my gun. That's all I got. We need new ones. I don't know. I gotta leave that to you. We can't I'd... go after Sam and use our... our old weapons. I don't want to shoot him. Didn't say we would. No, you're right. No, you're right. Hell, I don't know. Maybe he'll try and shoot us. I don't know what we're going to meet in between there now. I, I don't know. Fuck. 
We've got to stay out of our normal comfort zones, Bob. Yeah. I can't hit up my regular contacts. They turn you in, huh? Yeah. Why wouldn't they? Yeah. That's true. Got nothing, man. Yeah, we do. What? <sighs> we made a choice, Bob. Yeah. We have that. We're not executioners. Not anymore. can't survive on principles. It's better than lying to yourself every day. I think at this you see uh, I I recoil a little bit not away from Galen just sort of inward. I go and I touch the uh the ring around my neck. And then I point at the screen in front of us. <clears throat> so, Sam used to have, uh, he just used to have these hypothetical questions. You know, he would, he would always come up with the, uh, well, if, if this happened, uh, or if that happened, and it was, it was fucking infuriating. And then he just, you know, he would just sort of push my buttons as he would ask me these main questions. And um, but one of them really stuck with me. He, he mentioned if he ever had to go and hide, which I thought was the stupidest fucking shit to say, but he was like, no, 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 hear me out. There's a, there's a block, sector one. After, after everything that happened, after everything was knocked out, there was so much focus on repairing what they could, so much money diverted, he said. There pockets where it's not a priority places where people really get absorbed not even electricity most of the time there's a few of them I want to search for him there. And this one is going to be the closest one. Whatever you think is right. What's that? Whatever you think is right, Bob. You know this person, or at least you did. I trust you, Bob. Yeah, I trust you too. We'll try. If we can't find him, and even if we do find him, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen, but after that... I don't know. 
Can't stay here. Not easily. Skiff contacted me. He did? I don't... Yeah. I don't know where we're going to be able to find him or if we will. I think he's in the wind. Considering what seems to be the cause of his change that I'm not blaming him but that led us here I don't know I don't know uh, I don't know There's no way he'd go to Electric Dreams, right? No. I doubt it. I mean, Selma and Sawyer, no. There's nothing... I've been trying to look at this from all different angles. Okay. I've been trying to think if there was any way we could spin this. But they must have some kind of evidence. Aside from just their word... All the tech that Sawyer has. Wouldn't be surprised if there were recordings. Fuck. What do we do when we find Sam? Ask for help. He's dead. Or maybe he is and this other one isn't and maybe we'll find nothing, but if he is alive, if we can find him. I don't know. I, I, there's no future, Galen. I don't know. Don't have enough money to get off world. I don't even know if we can make it through L.A. Is this stupid? Is Sam a stupid? Is it... I gotta... I gotta be honest with you. Okay, as honest as I can be. I need to find Sam because I have questions. But I think he can answer. Maybe it's more dangerous to go in this direction. Maybe it's not smart. I mean, there's places to hide there, so that's good. And I appreciate your trust, but I'm, I'm not thinking straight. At all. Bob, look at me. You need to take some deep breaths. Remember the rain. That's one thing that this city does. It washes everything away. This... This is the end. 
of a lot of things. But it could be a new opportunity. Whether or not we find Sam. Whether or not we find Skiff. You'll always be my partner. Yeah. Yeah. You're my family. I've never had one before. Where you go, I go. Thank you. And if we find Skiff along the way, I'd like to bring him with us if he wants to. We won't leave him behind. We'll find him. Okay. 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 Now where's the last place you remember that Sam might be? Uh, so he talked about You see me sort of sit up straight. I uh, do move closer toward the map. All right. So the way he explained it to me, there's an issue with the electricity, the lines. It's just all shit. It's been shit. Um, there is a string of places that go out on the east side of Sector 1. There are four um, warehouses that I know of that he's mentioned. And it was just off-the-cuff bullshit. But it just... And I, I show him there's what looks like a dark crescent moon. I think that... Um, that's where we need to start. I mean, Sam was aware of his surroundings. We can look for him. But maybe he's looking out and maybe he'll see us. I don't know. We'll start there. And I point at the bottom most warehouse, which is the first one that we would arrive to. Before we go, we need some clothes and we need some weapons. Okay. We don't know what we'll find. Um, heading towards sector one, I'm. I want to roll to see if I remember anything. Maybe a bus that had gone down or, or, or even a question. Just a place that might might have shit like that. Weapons, that is. Clothes yeah, would that would be probably a connections roll. Um, but uh, at this point, all of your connections rolls typically will be at disadvantage because you're on the run. Sure. Uh, I, um, I want to say that this wouldn't be at disadvantage because it's just your memory, but also it's going to be used for whether or not maybe you recognize, oh, that's a good spot to go to where they, you know, they might recognize you. Okay. All right. Oh, that's a zero. Um, Are you going to push? Yeah, I... 
<laughs> okay. I am gonna push the 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 one there. Be the four. Yeah. And that is a three, so it remains a zero. No success. Yeah, I don't know where to go. At this point, I am currently scanning CCTV and checking in on reports for any suspicious activity pertaining to our most recent APB. You heard him. That's a stealth roll for you both. And that, for the audience to know, is how we're going to do this every once in a while when you seem to be stopped or maybe entering a new sector or exiting a sector or in a place where there might be CCTV. I have instructed both Selma and Sawyer to let it let us know and interrupt by asking for you to roll stealth. However, Bob rolled a two. I also so rolled a two. And That's so did Galen. two crits. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Sawyer, nothing comes up. They're just that good. I mean, we're going to a very shitty part of town and it's I very busy. That, yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I am actively involved in the movement of this taxi. Uh, from the screen, I am I'm I'm actively moving things, taking different routes. Um, nothing nothing that would be too direct. I think maybe we need to uh, secure something to barter with. We can use our old weapons. I have a few party favors remaining. Okay. Okay. If we uh, use our weapons, that could potentially be traced back to us, though. Right. Uh. Oh, wow. Um, I'm going to look at, uh, at my weapon. Um, I don't know if there's any, no, uh, I was thinking of pieces, like I, I imagine I could disassemble this thing, but, um, I imagine that you could as well. Yeah. I, I, um, I thought a lot about this. I don't think that your, I don't think your weapons are tracked. I think your KIAs had uh, GPS or location on them, but I don't imagine that your weapons do. Uh, guns, I will say this, and it says this in the system, even in the future. Remember that the system takes place far, far in the future. Guns are really, really hard to get. So, especially ones as good as yours. The far, far future of 2023. Yes. <laughs> um... No, I okay, mean the so far, then, far future in the book is like 2037 or something like that. Far, far, far future. So, so far, far in away. the future. <laughs> I think after not finding anything on the map and racking my brain, I'm just going to hold my gun up and say, I don't think we have a choice. Okay. The, uh, the drive will continue for a little bit. And I think that, uh, I know that I'm looking out my side. Uh, just, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'm looking for anything. I, I just, I, looking for other cops, maybe. Just trying to be wary as we drive. Okay. Um, you both critically succeeded on stealth, so not only can you avoid any um, other officers of the law, but if you do see them, you're able to, um, you know, identify them as not uh, recognizing your vehicle at all. I would like to ask, this is a, what vehicle is this? You said this was so. a vehicle, but I don't know... How so you this got is this a, car? A, this is a ground-based taxi, essentially. Okay. 
But yeah. it, do you have a taxi driver? No. So okay. this is an automated um, uh-huh. uh, self-driving vehicle mm-hmm. that is it's one of those uh, shitty rectangle, yeah, cars it, from yep. this okay. movie. It's yep. super shitty. Yeah. Um, All right. I, and I didn't uh, even choose also it. just to just to chime in here because mm-hmm. I feel like this might be critical at this point. Yes. Uh, I have the counselor specialty. Yes. After yes. what I said to Bob, mm-hmm. would I be able to heal one yes. point of Bob's stress? Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm also just going to go out and say that absolutely, please prepare to lawyer and remind and jump yeah. in. Uh, I'm having the other team jump in when they think there's an opportunity to catch you. Feel free to jump in when there's an opportunity to protect yourself. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, John. I was <laughs> held up in traffic. Hold on. <laughs> um, um, I, also, I meant to ask remember, about health. Yes, yes, go ahead. Is health all the way back, or do you only get like one or two per uh, resting period? Like, how does that one, work? One, I think. One. It is one per resting period, yeah. Super cool. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, remember a couple episodes ago when I was like, hey, maybe you should all get your counselors and your ways to do stress up there. I hope you listen to me. I really well, do. How many shifts has it been since uh, Bob and Kaylin uh, got beat up let me check the timeline please continue i will double check our timeline okay i think at this point we are probably getting close um the area is almost dilapidated in its look and this is where you last saw sam this is where i'm hoping sam will be this is where he talked about fervently about a good place because he used to talk about if we were running down perps or trying to find replicants there are places that are just dead zones and this is one of them this is the one that he said it's so it's in a bad place and the buildings themselves are in awful condition even compared to everything around them I I really don't know what to expect it's kind of a shot in the dark but I I don't know it's worth trying if we can't if we can't find him then we can look for Skiff and that'll that'll be what we'll do Um, All right. I believe it is now the 12th day. So that would make it September 20th of 2023. And that means, Bob, you have had one, two, three, four, five, six, six shifts. Approximately. <laughs> All right. Since you attacked, because I, okay, you that that ended on day you ended the day with uh, attacking on day ten on the eighteenth, so you've had a full September nineteenth where you guys were talking and are peeing out a lot of downtime. Nothing crazy happened. Um, well, except for some emotional turmoil, which we all experienced. Uh, but that was a full day, and now you've had two shifts more downtime and you guys are are peeing in the evening around about 5 p.m. on September 20th. Okay. I think uh, at this point we are probably getting uh, close to the warehouse. Um, It's only a block or two that way. We might just want to walk. We can, um, and I, I, I take the, um, the screen and I, I have us essentially park, just the taxi park, uh, and then, uh, get out of the car, um, and I have told the taxi to go ahead and go on. Okay, 
Uh, let's see. We need to go about a block down this way. And that'll be where the uh, first warehouse is. I, I, I don't know what to expect. And I, I think I start walking at this point. I am going to... I am looking uh, up for... Uh, for cameras, but I, okay. I, I'm not sure what to expect, and I'm not even sure. So where this to look. is how we're going to get away with this. So this sure. is PvP now. So okay. you are going to roll your observation. Okay. And then you're going to see if you see a camera. That's no, no fail, which means that when Speth or uh, Flick call for a roll from you, you will now be rolling at disadvantage for the next one. Like, okay. if they call for it here, but I'm leaving it up to them, they may choose not to check the CCTV right here in this spot. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and check the CCTV just to see what's going on. Yeah, so now you're rolling your stealth at disadvantage. But you did. Oof. if you had succeeded there, you would be rolling at advantage, which seems okay. like a fair way for us to to use you, you pit you guys Oops. against each other. I'm sorry, I would have been I the seven take- anyway. Yep, yeah. it would have been the seven, so you're okay. That's still a success. Okay. Yep. So what does that look like then? Because I'm assuming, because you said you were looking for CCTV, I mean, technically you failed your observation, but you still succeeded at the stealth mm. role in relation to the CCTV. So what does it look like? So I think um, both Galen and I have been on the force long enough that we you get a feel for the cameras that are looking down the streets, how how they're uh, positioned, where they're likely to be, outside storefronts. Uh, some some buildings that are uh, housed tenants, they might have one here or there. Um, but I think that it's very rare, unless you're going down an alley of uh, a business that is running, that you're going to find a camera. Uh, so I think that I'm... Uh, dragging us down uh, an alleyway that is dark, littered with junk, so much so that we're probably having to walk over a little bit. Uh, there's some, um, there are homeless people bundled up uh, under little awnings trying to get away from the rain where they can. Uh, and this is just a place that I'm assuming wouldn't likely have uh, a camera and hoping that I'm right as we're walking through. Okay. Uh, as soon as we get to the the end of uh, this alley, there is uh, it opens up a little bit. This is a district that did have some level of uh, industrial processes going through. There's a few warehouses. The bad thing about this is it's not a lot of buildings close uh, w- uh, close to each other. There is space between where we're standing right now in the alleyway and a, a fence, essentially, uh, that is broken in places, but a fence, and then another gap of space until there is a warehouse. We would have no real cover crossing this space. Okay. Is that an, is that an invitation that I'm hearing? Are you, I'm are just you, saying are that this is the our... reality of the, okay. yeah, this is the reality of the situation. That sounds like an invitation, Selma and Sawyer, if one of you want to take it. Ooh. Sure. I'll All take right. it. <sighs> um, I... <laughs> I'm going to... I'm definitely going to, to lean over towards Galen and just be like, I don't know if there's any uh, cameras um, that would be working around there. There might be, but there also might be some. And I, I poke my head out and I sort of look down one side and one down the other and go, it's just a, it's a big difference or distance to cross. Uh, but I, do you see if anything? You see, if you ever, if you, if we come across any clothes, make sure you change, even if we have to steal them. So. During, while we were walking down this, if we could just back up a little bit, while we were walking down this uh, alleyway, it was littered with shit. 
and there's homeless people okay. left and right, and there's shit everywhere. So it is possible that we were picking through it as we were going, looking for I anything see, that we I can... I see, I see. So... If we could roll for even a blanket to put over, you know, like a shawl. That observation. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, so that I means will... that your roll will be at advantage for this the next stealth that you're doing because you're using oh, okay. a blanket. Okay. So because I'm hiding. paying attention. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yep. and I've got it on. Fantastic. Okay. Yep. So, so I think that I find uh, some pretty gross and, and dirty looking uh, things. Um, and I definitely put it over me because mm-hmm. I know that I, I've got, you know, I mean, I, I, I know I stand out. Uh, so I, I've got it over over my shoulders, over my head a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, is Gal- I mean, Galen's probably already. <laughs> like, are you in incognito already? Do you just look it like It looks a, like he a, is, a, yeah. I am, yeah. Yeah, I, I'd assume so. So... I, I would have I, I would have just grabbed you know uh, 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 as quickly as possible after getting the message I would have I'm I grabbed something that you know covers covers me up pretty well mm-hmm. it would have been like a jacket a rain jacket or something which is extremely common in yeah. the city because it rains all yeah, the time it is and sometimes they're you know the clear ones that we remember from the first film but oftentimes they're not as well so that's some probably some of them are like yeah. black vinyl yep. mm-hmm. and yeah mm-hmm. um now the standard rules for rolling in a group still apply and i'm just going to remind you because again it's very difficult to succeed at a roll in this system so they gently suggest that you don't roll too often if you don't have to so if you are together one of you can do the observation and the stealth roll but that means that the person who is rolling observation is also rolling the stealth if you are trying to give yourself an advantage it's for your roll okay bob is taking the lead here because He's looking for Sam, and I don't think I will be of much help aside from the the standard stuff. So I'll do things like remind him, like we need to get him clothing. We need mm-hmm. to potentially find weapons and resources. Okay. Okay. So now, um, I'm going to step out into the open space. Mm-hmm. You have to roll your stealth though, at advantage. Mm-hmm. Turn that advantage. Okay. Oh no. my God! So I lucky. Got a two. That's a two. That's a critical success. So, Selma, nothing has popped yet. <sighs> this is frustrating. Um. Patience. So, I think that I'm I'm trying to walk with a sense of purpose uh, across this space. Um. And it's a large space. Again, this is uh, sort of a warehouse district, so the, some buildings will be grouped together, but um, there's def- definitely space between. So um, walking acro- across a very broken road to an even more broken sidewalk mm-hmm. uh, to where there's a dirt, essentially, and a chain link fence. Um, okay, so Galen, I... I I don't know. I'm assuming that if Sam is here, if he could be here, he would be watching. He was smart. He's very smart. We could walk around the buildings uh, and hope that we get recognized, but it's a risk. And I can't cover my face. I can ask around some of the homeless. Okay. Let's do that first. Okay. We're actually going to switch directions for a minute. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Have you seen... Looking for...
You getting anything? No, not currently. No? God damn it. The tweaks will come through in the end, don't worry. Well, you know, I'm expecting them to come through now. What the hell's taking them so long? They're probably Normally we don't even hiding. have to worry about this. I think we can't really afford to be reactive at the moment. I think we have to be proactive. Right, right. You know what I think? What? I think we should get a warrant to raid Electric Dreams tonight. Oh, Jesus. We've got, um, we've got confirmed presence of replicants and sympathizers <sighs> present there. You want to do that tonight? Sooner rather than later, yeah. But... <laughs> Listen. That's going to be a big party. I know. Huge. Huge party. One way or the other, they're going to know sure that we're coming for that place. I, I know, I know, but... We might not have... Like I said, we might not have reinforcements for that. We might not have enough... Firepower. There's so much I don't know about that place, so we're in... Hell, there's so much that Skiff decided to hide from me, so... Equally don't know. But you know what? I, I say fuck it. If you want to, I'm here for it. I think we ask Holden to approve some backup so we can properly raise that place top to bottom. Yeah. They're going to expect this to be coming, so it's one of two things. One, they're going to be scattered to the winds, which means it's going to be stragglers that we're picking up. But they're going to have to prioritize between protecting their data, their information, or protecting their people. It's one or the other. So either we'll get a lot of replicants or we'll get a lot of information, is my bet. It's one or the other. Yeah. I don't think we're getting... <laughs> I certainly don't think we're getting any information from replicants, but, um... Yeah. I'm not sure we'll be able to take any alive, but... I'm pretty sure we can agree that that place is associated with the underground, so taking any of them out of the picture is definitely a good thing. All right. Plus, so I really want to know what that power draw is all about. Another thing. I think we should contact Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. She's got a very good reason to be back on side with us right now. And, uh, I say we put her to work investigating Leonard Grippen, our suspected leak. It's in her best interest to help us turn up this person in order to save her own skin, but She's also good at that sort of thing. How do you know we're not going to end up shooting this person? Leonard Grippen? Yeah. I'm fine with shooting that person, just as long as we get access to their information. I think at this Someone point, have to be, uh, we have to be alive to crack their Sawyer. terminal. I am prepared for that. Okay. You want me to Are you? get in touch I with mean, her really, now? Or? I want to. I want to ask you that question. Are you prepared? now as opposed to before because this is going to get this is going to get to be a lot very fast I'm ready and, okay I'm not going to let you down again all right well then do you want to bring this to Holden or yeah. should we all right do you want to bring it to him and I contact Natalie, divide and conquer, or do you want to talk to her? Oh, no, I think I'd rather hear what she has to say. Okay. Uh, so I'll talk to Holden? Or we can both do both, that's fine. I was just curious. 
I think at this point we should probably do. And I hesitate. What was down there? An electric what dream. What did he find? Something what big enough to shake his entire worldview. What did he find? Whatever it is, the power draw's too massive. They can't get all their tech out of there in time. Honestly, if they're evacuating, it might be in our best interest. It means less bloodshed coming in the door. All right. I think we do this together. All right. Which one do you want to do first? I think Let's we should contact probably Natalie. tell this. All right, if you want to contact Natalie first. <laughs> I think she deserves a little. Okay. She gets contacted by Skiff and she doesn't know. He might lead her in a somewhere less useful for us. But if she knows taking his calls means that she's going to get herself killed, she has a very good reason to continue working with us. Okay. Then let's give her a call. Now she's still at the hospital. She is. From what I know. Okay, narrator, how do we contact Natalie? Um, it depends. Are you just doing it via vid call or would you like to go see her in person? Hmm. I think vid call is fine. Okay. At this stage. Yeah. Okay. Um, then you go ahead and roll, one of you rolls connections, but it's at disadvantage. Um, simply because oh. she, she could be sleeping. She could, you know, you're not going there in person, right? How are your, how are your connections? Uh, my, mine is, a uh, not the best, but if you want me to, I'll do it. I can give it a go. Okay. A disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does disadvantage do? Does it remove your one of your base die? Yes. Yep. And then when you roll advantage, it gives you one. Right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. An extra one. Yeah, that was unsurprising. Okay. Um. So. I'd like to still connect you, um, just because, again, I don't like failing, meaning you don't get through, but um, there's going to be something that you don't get or that is um, different to what you expected, your expected or desired outcome, but we'll just role play it out and see what happens. How's that? Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. All right. Uh Hello? Hi, Hi Natalie. Natalie. Detectives? Is everything all right? Not really. Okay. If Is you, Skiff uh... okay? We're not sure about Skiff at this moment. Are you capable of answering some questions for us? Oh, this again. Yes, yes, I am. Okay. Can you... Natalie, discuss with us what you and Skiff were doing. What do you mean? When? Earlier on, when y'all left. Oh, he took me for ice cream. For ice cream. That's right. And I felt good enough to go out for ice cream. With rum in it. Well, no, I felt like shit, but you, you, you know, you had just interrogated me, and that's my own department, sort of, and I was upset, so, and he, he knew that, and so he, um, you know, he offered to take me to cheer me up and get some ice cream. What a guy. Can you, um... 
Can you give me any uh, information on where you think he might be right now? Um, I would assume work, the office. You you assume? I mean, that he's that he's here. Well, he said he had work to do. Last I talked to him, but that was a few days ago. I'm assuming okay. that he talked to you. After he talked to me, I mean, I'm assuming you would know more than I would. Actually, no. That's why we're calling you. Oh. Okay. And I'm I'm assuming you've tried to call him. We can't get hold of him. Okay. That's the real curious thing. Okay. Well, when is the last time you talked to him? Do you know what he was going to go do? He could be in trouble. Yeah. I think he's in a lot of trouble. That's why we're calling that. Here's some things to tell you. Okay. You haven't checked your... KIA, your communications? Do you have those I, in the I, hospital right I, now? I don't have one. I'm not a field officer. Right. What's going on? Is he hurt? No, he's not hurt. But you don't know to where he is? Or unaware of his location, so I can't vouch for his status. But, Natalie... First, I want to... Apologize... For... Pressing you... In such a way. Oh, that's okay. I thought about it after the ice cream and the rum. Uh, if it were me, I would try to make it look like you too, or m me. I feel well, like we both started at the same time. We're probably Petsy. Yeah. So. Well, like I, I understand that. Skiff, I will help figure it out. Whatever you all need me to do, I will. I will help. When you return to work at the LAPD, yes. I think you should take the lead in tracking down Leonard Grippen for us. Yes, okay. Okay. I can do that. I come back right. I can come back tomorrow, but if it's important I can I can go now. You should probably rest. Are, are you Especially sure I don't if you're still in the hospital, you know. Okay. Don't want anybody uh, coming in and taking you out for extra ice cream when you really should be healing. Can I just ask if you had any any sort of inkling as to what Skiff might be thinking at this moment? I think he's worried about your relationship. Okay. He, he seemed... He seemed very, um, very worried about you last time we talked. Hmm. Well, all right. We'll look forward to that information on, uh, Leonard Grippen. Sawyer, you have any more questions? I look at Selma with the... <laughs> Are we going to... And I look at you because I don't know what you're saying to me. Natalie, we'll talk when you come into work tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay, right. okay. Bright and early. Okay, okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Thanks for the help. Yeah, of course. And I think we hang up. All right, well, no if she help. shows up, if she shows up, I guess that's the loyalty test taken care of. Yeah. Didn't even want to answer the question. Well, I suppose... Oh, she'll find some motivation to answer it real quick tomorrow. <laughs> At this point, I mean, we'll, we'll really see what happens here, but, um... My God. Well, uh... Yeah, I, I just don't know what to... What to 
how to approach this in a way that makes sense with treating these people with the same amount of respect that that I would want, but knowing that they are deliberately sneaking around. Mm. Deliberately. How do you, how do you, uh, how do you re- re- reckon with that? How do you? How I honestly you? don't know. How can you, Sawyer? I just don't know anymore. I, I just think it's a bunch of bullshit. Um, yeah, I think she knows more than she's letting on. Oh, but like I said, <laughs> absolutely. She's, I've, I, I, she's. I've, <sighs> sorry, go ahead. She gets to make her choice tomorrow. Right. And if I was in her shoes, it's a very easy choice to make at this stage. And frankly, I'd rather have her work in a desk here than being God knows where else. But, again, it's up to her. She can make her choice. We'll see. Seems like lots of people are making their choices at the moment. Do you want to go talk to Holden? Yeah. All right. I stand up. Straighten out my shirt. Take a deep breath in. And I think we walk over to Holden's office again. Okay. Do you knock or just come in? I knock. Okay. Come in. Hello again, we've sir. got some new information. Go ahead. I, um, I place some papers on his desk that have scribbled notations about the power draw and the other sort of discrepancies we found about electric dreams just as like a point of reference and then say uh we found a replicant underground hideout this place is a front and it has technology somewhere in its innards that is drawing a hell of a lot of power okay this is where detective Kalispell went before he spoke to an individual associated with the underground before he cut his comms. Sir, when we spoke to Natalie, it was like she didn't know anything. And I can tell you right now, that's not true. What we don't know weighs outweighs what we do with her. And my suggestion is that we play it real cool. I want to see whether or not she turns up tomorrow here at the office. Okay. And if she does turn up at the office, what do you propose we do? I'm not entirely certain. But I'll let you know. I think I will ha- I think we will have an answer. Unless Sawyer, you have <clears throat> I think uh, I think we'll question her. Sir, I think that's uh, the best we can do, but like I was telling Selma, she's going to have a lot of motivation to come clean about a few things, I think. It feels like there's being uh, some truth omitted here, sir. What evidence do you have after Skiff turned off his comms? To be honest, just my eyeballs. After we went to the hospital to ask her questions. I got a a pattern of behavior that we can present to you, but I'll let Selma take care of it. I mean, that's just it. It was bizarre. My instinct is telling me that something here is, um, much more dangerous. And I'm sorry to say, but I think Skiff is probably at the heart of it. 
and I think he must have somehow gotten to Natalie, or Natalie had gotten to him. He spoke at length with this Nara Anderson. I'm sorry, who? Nara Anderson, former Tyrell developer. She was one of the two co-leads on Project Vanya, alongside Kano Nakayama. Yo. Okay, just to clarify, you're fucking, you're, you told him everything. You told him about Vanya, you told him about Tyrell's involvement. Oh my God, okay. Jesus Christ. I, right. think, I think the only thing that we eased up on was the Tyrell's behind it all, I think. Uh, but I think practically speaking, things that are tied to Tyrell, we've, we've like, other than suspicion, we've, we've shared pretty openly at this stage. Okay. Um... D I'm sorry, just to clarify, does that mean you've also shared the suspicion that there is replicants in the LAPD? Not as yet. Okay. I don't know how right. concrete we are on that. Okay, unless, yeah, I wasn't sure Elspeth how concrete feels differently. We were on it either. Well, I think we're on the same page. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So that's not, not concrete the only enough to thing say that, that we don't know. Right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. And we have. So, I and I think. I think we've said there's breaches in the department, but we haven't said, said it's Tyrell yeah, that specifically. it's Tyrell yeah. or that it's yeah. potential replicants in the department. Um, mm -hmm. I believe that was maybe hinted at uh, that there was yeah. just uh, just that, but I don't think Holden would have jumped to that immediately. Like it's easy yeah. for me to jump to that because I know what's yeah. going on in the story, but Holden wouldn't think that the LAPD was impenetrable by a replicant. He's got an ego. So I'm just yeah. going to assume that until you tell him that, he doesn't know it. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Um, but Vanya and everything else. And did you tell him about yeah. Skiff's history? Did you reveal Skiff's backstory? I I can rattle through a little notepad right yeah. now if yeah. you want. Yeah, okay. I want to know. Um, I, and I think the audience probably wants right. to know what you told I'll, him to. I'll do it. Yep. I'll do it in character. As okay, Sawyer. yep. Sir, I've already briefed you on Project Vanya and the capacity, the capabilities of that project. But here are the facts is what we know. Nara Anderson is an ex-developer for Tyrell. She left about two years ago. Suddenly, suspiciously, in recent history, Kano Nakayama, one of the other lead developers on this project, is abducted by replicants that we believe are associated with the replicant underground. Additionally, uh, Front, this electric dreams that she works out of, has an insane power draw. I bet that there is some technology relating to this project or to replicant technology in general operating in this building. We sent Skiff in to investigate this building due to a prior connection he had, someone that he recognized from his past, which ultimately we revealed to be a template or the face of a replicant that he knew as a child. Nara was familiar with Skiff before he entered this building. Said that while she was working at Tyrell, she rejected an application that he sent in. There's a long history here. But she's not Tyrell associated anymore, and I doubt he is either. That's one of his principal motivations to join the LAPD, not to retire replicants, not to do his job as a Blade Runner but to find a girl that he met as a child. These are seditious motivations at best. Anderson herself seems to be concerned with the future of the Nexus 8s. She said that she's some kind of designer child herself. I don't know if she's a replicant exactly, but she's not entirely human, I don't think. But she's directly vouching for and supporting the replicant underground. Her goal is to equalize the social status between replicants and humans because she wants them to be able to live normal lives. Do we have evidence of this? That's what we learned. Do we, we have, have a recording evidence? and a transcript. Perfect. Kill on site order for Miss Nara Anderson as well. Understood. Yes, Please continue. At that point in the conversation, Skiff cut his earpiece. We have no idea what they discussed at that point. I've got one quote from Anderson currently. Help us take down Tyrell for good, and don't let the LAPD slaughter all my children.
this building is a hive, it's a nexus point for the underground. Now, they're already scrambling, I wager. So we have to move fast. Yeah, don't wait for the warrant. I'll take care of it. Go, go now. And we're going to need some backup and a bit of time have to prepare. 20 uh, points to spend on whatever gear you want to bring. And you get backup for free. For okay. free? Yep, you always get backup for free. Every, you always get backup for free, but you can bring it with you. Most excellent. Sir, I, um, I need to know how much time it takes you to prepare, however. It's, what time is it now? I feel like it's afternoon. Yeah. Um, we, you, you guys usually are the evening shift. So usually shift starts around five. Sometimes you do the later shift. So I had us starting the day around 5 p.m. So I'm going to say it's been around... So you reported to Holden, they did their stuff, went to a warehouse. I'm going to say it's been about an hour. You guys were also looking okay. for any hits for them for a w little while. So it's about 6 okay. p.m. And this is why we've been keeping track of the timeline so heavily the whole time. Now it really okay. matters. Okay, it's about 6 um, p.m. Okay. I have one lead to chase up before we reach this building. All right. So, give us a few hours to set up, and uh, I will contact you the second that we are ready to move. Are you sure? I'm certain. Trust me. I look to Selma. A few hours is a long time. Are you sure? I'm sure, sir. All right. Give us two. Two, two hours. hours. Okay. Do you do anything else? <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> digesting that right now. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm the, I'm the person that takes a lot of notes when yeah. I play. Yeah, so um, I'm, the, you know, that's, that's the, you know. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I said this in the chat, but for those listening, I don't think we've ever done PvP like this on Table Story. I don't think I've ever seen PvP like this before. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Um, um, wow. Uh, PB, I'm, yes. one, I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. wondering if mm -hmm. I can, can I use the promotion points that I have yes. left to like requisition like a diaper or something like that? Yeah, <laughs> if you need to, you know, yeah. But, maybe, but uh, yeah. something maybe that... Some running <laughs> shoes. Uh, <laughs> I um, did tell the cat, and I, I actually should let the audience know that unfortunately at the end of the last episode, um, all the promotion points for Galen and Bob and Skiff became unusable, obviously, because they're no longer part of the LAPD. Um, I did say to them, I don't think your guns can be tracked because that's absolutely devastating to be without a weapon. Um, some of them chose to get rid of their weapons anyway in their KIA. So, um, uh, so yeah, we're going to... It's... it's, it's worth, okay. You, you good, peeps? <laughs> yeah, I'm just... Wow, this is a lot and I love it and I'm, I'm here for it. Um, oh, I will say too about the roles from earlier. The reason why I'm and I'm clarifying this in case there's anybody else running the system out there and has this happen at their table. But the reason we're doing um, these the observation roles and then the stealth roles and it's basically the one player rolling against themselves is because that seems the most fair. Because if you've got somebody rolling stealth versus these two with their tech scores it's just gonna it's yeah. there it's gonna be a slaughterhouse um so most it's of the, fortunate it's a yeah. it's a big city with a lot of tech problems exactly at the very least to exactly. justify that as well yeah so okay anything else that you do in here so you have told holden that natalie is su suspicious when she comes in tomorrow uh you've also told him all about skiff's backstory um and you've told him about um Nara Anderson, mm -hmm. you've told him about electric dreams. I'm just mm -hmm. keeping track of all of this shit in my head. And in two hours, you're going to read and electric Nakayama. dreams. And Nakayama. Yeah. That's right. Okay. And he's yeah. still missing. Yeah. So now yes, we're going to put an APB out on Nakayama um, and let people know that he's missing as well. Okay. Good to know. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I'm assuming that you give him the photograph of what looks to be the blonde oh the, yeah, yeah a, that a, you're giving them everything a, yep so there's yeah. apbs the done on them the stack as well of papers yeah yep okay absolutely. final question do you tell them about sam Ooh. i don't even think sam would have been on my mind Perfect. i don't think he's so a priority not. for us in our heads so okay. um cool. 
Because I don't think... No, I didn't encounter the, the character at all. No, so you did not. I don't think nope. so. Okay. Good to know. Um, but yeah, I I look to Selma and say... Are you, are you ready? Yep. Ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. I, uh... I've got a... I've got a good feeling about this. I'll see you in a couple hours, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I'll keep you posted. Right. Uh, would you excuse me for just a second? Of course. I head, I head to the bathroom. We're gonna stick with and, Thelma here. Sorry. And... I just go into a stall. And I tap my head against the cool door and I just feel it against my forehead. And I listen to my heartbeat. And I just start to cry. And that's all I do for a good 20 minutes. Thinking about the situation that I'm in and where my career has taken me and where I've taken me and where my choices have taken me and where those choices have taken everybody else and how quickly we divided. Okay, Sawyer. Where are you going before this raid? I think you're muted. If you're speaking. Oh, never mind. You may have gone to break. All right, that's okay. We'll go back to... We'll go back to the other two that are waiting outside the warehouse. Oh my god, so much is happening. Which means Bob and Galen, you're up. I was uh, asking around to see if anybody had seen someone that looked like Sam. Okay, I, roll connection is disadvantage. I'm going to use drugs as a motivator. Can I nullify the disadvantage? Yeah, but remember the drugs will affect future rolls for other stuff. Right. Uh, I'll give over uh, a dose of instant fix. Okay. Which is like a, a health... Uh, it's a plus one health, basically. Uh, and I will start to, uh, we'll start to ask questions to this person. Hmm, not so great. Bob. Yeah. You got anything? I, I don't think anybody's really seen Sam around here, or at least they won't give him up. I even gave up some of my drugs to find out. I don't know how likely it is that we're going to find him, at least here. Yeah. You want to keep looking? Yeah, just a little bit longer. Um. I can't I mean, really would... stay out in the open too long. No, but no, no. Um, these I mean, these warehouses are just as good as any place anyway. To hide in, dilapidated. There's probably vagrants inside, but um, if Sam's not, at least it's something. I uh.
Okay. Let's see. What's the smartest way of going about this? I mean, if you if you didn't hear anything from from uh, these people, uh, then I'm gonna have to hope that maybe. Oh God! What a shot in the dark. Hopefully, Sam is in one of these buildings. He is paying attention. But I'm gonna have to take the blanket off, at least around my face. If he's gonna see us. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't walk with me. Maybe you should stay here. You should stay here. I'm going with you. I... I know, but... Let's think of this logically, okay? You're still with me. If you see me... Go in. All right, all right, all right. That's fine. It's fine. Okay. But stagger behind me. Okay. Just keep your hood up. I'll just look like another vagrant. Okay. All right. Uh, I uh, get the I get the blanket and it's if it's not over my face, it doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Um, um. Well, so what I'd like to do is you rolled previously and succeeded, and then you were stealthed, but now you are through role play purposely like willingly. T- you know, taking some of that away. So yeah. all I was going to do was have you roll your stealth, but at normal. So you're not rolling at okay. your advantage and you're not rolling at disadvantage. Um, and the only reason I'm doing that is because you want Sam to see you, but you're hoping that his cameras aren't the CCTV cameras. So I think you're not, you're avoiding those still as best you can, yeah. but you are still showing your, sa- uh, your face. So you're going to lose your advantage. Oh, um, yeah, I will be now I'm gonna- face... Yeah, okay, perfect. Now I'm going to have you roll twice. Okay? At normal. One, All right. one is for the CCTV and the LAPD to see you. The yeah. other one is going to be for Sam, and I need you to pick which one is for which before you roll. Oh. Okay. Uh, the first one will be for the LAPD. Oh, Would you like to push? I can't, or really I shouldn't. The GM asked, knowing that it would cause physical pain. Yeah, I... I can't. I... You can't or you won't? Yeah, I won't. Because I don't know what's to come. And this is... Yeah, no, I'm not going to. The second one will be for Sam. Okay. And I got a two. Okay. All right. So, I I assume that if my face is going to get seen, it's going to get seen. Uh, Hide my body doesn't matter. I take the the gross blanket that I've had on for a little bit. I take it off. I am going to keep it with me, though. I'm just wrapping it up. I emerge from the shadows. I start to walk out very noticeably. I, at this point, there is there is no hiding. There are no more shadows. The lights are off in places, which is fine, but I'm specifically avoiding them because I want to give Sam the best chance of seeing me if he's even here. It's a huge fucking gamble. But I don't plan on staying long anyway. I'm going to do a walk around these four blocks. Okay. And I... I have my face turned uh-huh. towards the buildings. Okay. I mean, I am just 
looking. I'm even going to put my hand up and do this. I look back every now and then to see how far Galen is, but I'm trying not to make it look obvious. Yeah. I'm that I'm just I... sort of stumbling around, talking to myself. So this is this an opportunity yeah, where I, uh, Galen and I, I will have you roll separately yeah. because you purposefully had him hang back so that your roll wouldn't affect him. And I acknowledge that. So Galen, you can go ahead and roll. Um, you can still keep your advantage, however. Um, because you, you know, you're not purposely showing your face. You're still acting like a, a homeless man or a beggar, at least. Man, it's always raining. I, I wish we could get a break. That was a three. So. <sighs> Two extra successes. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. How would you like to spend those extra successes? I'd like to steal something from the area. Maybe there's a few other vagrants around. Okay. What are you stealing? Anything that's useful. I imagine uh, if there's uh, some other blankets or if there's like any uh, food about. Yeah, I can absolutely allow that, but remember this is this and this is for the audience here. This is a 3. This is not just a critical, but it's like a double critical. It's, it's a really really good roll. Um I, I will let you use two of those critical successes to cancel out Bob's failure for the LAPD if you'd like. But it means you're not going to procure food and shit. You guys are going to have to risk going out again to try to get some supplies. I'll do that then. Okay. And how do you do that then? What do you think happens? I think uh, I will notice any potential uh, cameras or anything. um, And I'll do my best to kind of block whenever Bob would show his face, uh, maybe keeping my back to the camera, allowing him to get past. It's subtle stuff. Okay. I think that I'm, I'm recognizing his, his movements at least as much as I can. Um, I'm trying to be wary as well, so I am, uh, I am moving as much as I can to stay in open, but if I recognize that he's like shambling forward and mumbling a lot or something as he moves past me. I, I think I recognize what he's trying to do. So I'm, I'll hold back for a minute, turn my head for a little bit as I walk past him again, and then I'll, I'll keep looking. Uh, have I heard or seen anything at this point? I'm sorry, you have not. Um, actually, yeah. I think, cause you haven't gone into the warehouse, right? No. You're no, just circling yet. around. No. You have not seen yeah. any sign. Nobody's come out to approach you either. Okay. Um, and just to be clear, this is a different warehouse than the one where Natalie was held, right? Yeah. No, yeah. They, these were a different series of yeah. uh, warehouses. That's a good question. Uh, no, no, no. These are so. All, yeah, these are just warehouses that um, that Sam had once mentioned would be a great hiding place. Just is this in sector twelve? Is this no, like this is in sector down one. by the seawall? Okay. No, no, no. It's not that far out. Um, so this is in sector one. Sector so one, uh, yeah. for anyone looking at the map, that would be the uh, the upper left portion of of that area. Um, within that area, there's some uh, darkened spaces. This is one of them. Uh, so I, uh, after I walk around and I don't see anything. I just say out loud to myself, I've got to go inside. Uh, And I look for an opening in the fence. Uh, And it it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, the fence was pretty shitty. This is a very shitty area. So I 
I'll uh I'll This was also go your agreed upon if shit hit the fan we go here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, so I'd say you yeah, know how to get This is something that he would talk about. Yeah, exactly. This, this is the only place I could think of this he would like, ever. It's like when to. you have a conversation with your sibling or your best friend and you're like, if I die, what sign will you give me that you're a ghost? You know, it's like this random yeah. conversation. Like, if this happens, you know, if we're ever on the run, this is where this would Guarantee be a great place to be. Guarantee PB and Murgles have had that conversation. Oh, absolutely. Because she just absolutely. brought it up. Yep. And my sister and I have as well. <clears throat> yeah. So I, it's a good conversation to have. Look, man, I need um, to know. Yeah. So I I go towards wherever the door is. Um, is it open? I imagine it's it might be a double door, but yeah. Is it open? Is it chained? Ooh, let's roll for it. Okay. What would you like to roll? I feel like it should be... It's going to be force. I'm not trying to be subtle. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, okay. All right, let's do a body roll. Your choice. All right, yeah. I'm just going to do uh, force. Mm-hmm. Oh. Would you like to push? No, I can't. Okay. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Right. I'm going to keep saying that. I shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I won't push. I think uh, I'm going to bang on the door a couple times. Um, after it doesn't open mm-hmm. with a kick. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to, like, slam my fist into it a couple times. Um, okay. And then take a step back. All right. And then look for windows. Or yeah, a- I'd say you'll find some mm-hmm. windows. You won't be able to get in because of this failed roll, but you can yeah. look in through the windows. Um, now go ahead and roll observation for me. This one is at advantage because you, you know that this might be a place where Sam would go. All right. Because you talked about it. So, observation? Uh, yes, please. Okay, one success. Uh, you do see signs of somebody, uh, being here. What do you think you see? They haven't been here for a while. I think, I think it's safe to say that you saw them, like you, they, he was probably here when he originally left. Okay. So it would have Um, been five or six weeks old. So it's old, but there is something that gives you a sign that it was him. What do you think that is? Uh, It is a table with a lot of, a a lot of maybe some papers uh, and bits and bobs here and there. And I see a round gray moon like squishy that I remember being inside of his apartment. The the little squishy is on the table. As I look around, it it does look like no one's really been here, right? I mean, other than maybe at some point, I don't see... Yeah. No, I think that's that's probably the only thing that I would need. Can you roll empathy for me, please, at a disadvantage? Uh, yeah. How do you how do you roll those? Like I can do it's connection, your insight, you or can manipulation. Do, I would What's do that? insight. Do insight, please. At at what? Disadvantage. Insight disadvantage. You got this. I got a one. There is something off about that squishy ball. Okay. Uh, I look back in the direction of where um, Galen is. And I, I nod slowly, but I also put my shoulders up. I'm trying to look like confused, like. There's no way in, right? I, I can't. I don't see an easy way in that would be likely after the one roll. Um. I'm going to focus on this this squishy. I'm, I don't know what it is that's catching my attention, but I am... I'm looking harder. That's I'm focusing. A, that's all I'm, I can give you, unfortunately. No, that's fine. Yep. I will pull myself to the to the area. I'm looking through. I'm trying to get, like, there's uh, dirt 
and grime and shit on one of the um, windows here that's shattered in places, but I'm trying to look through it. I go back over to the door and I pull out my gun and I'm going to shoot at okay. the... Wow. All right. Um, so... Yes. Okay, we can do that. Um, I think this will r- require a roll um, sure. for a chance for Sawyer or Selma to, to catch uh, a report about this. You said yourself the street was somewhat busy. There are people on it. Um, there are people around, yeah. Yeah, there sure. are people around that are going to hear the very rare gun being fired. Um, so go ahead and roll to... So we're going to need two rolls, your, um, your gun roll. Actually, you know what? It's hard to do that. You know how to fire a gun. You know how to get into sure. a door. That's not a problem. But I do need you to roll you stealth, or I do need you to roll your stealth. All right. Uh, disadvantage, normal advantage, probably not advantage. But, uh, uh, <laughs> it's not advantage, so it's just normal. I think. Okay. Yep. All right. Here we go. Ooh. Uh... I assume Galen no hears point. that. Yep. It, there's yeah. no point. It, uh, immediately, my head snaps like a whip. Yep. And I have, you can see my hand sort of reach underneath my jacket. Mm-hmm. I'm a bit wild-eyed as I look towards Bob. Um, at this point, I fired. I have lowered uh, my gun, and then I'm kicking the door to to push it the rest of the way open. Okay. Um, I, you are seasoned LAPD officers. Um, this gunshot is going to be reported. Do the people know that it's an LAPD officer style gun? No, but you do have Selma and Sawyer watching like hawks. So I say you have a limited time to be in here, but you would know that. The moment you fire your gun, you're like, okay, we've got 10 minutes max, and then we got to get out of here. Okay? So the timer has begun. Um, I'm... What do you do? I'm going to put... Uh, so the first thing I do is I put my hand sort of down like this towards Galen. Hoping he trusts me and he stays there. I'm just essentially going... And I'm going mm-hmm. to push inside and go in the direction of wherever that was where I saw uh, the table. And I'm going to... I'm going to avoid the the squishy at first. The first thing I'm going to do when I get there is I'm going to look around for any signs of anything he was doing, planning, thinking about anything um, at all. I I don't know if he was planning Um, a trip off world. Yeah. Any any evidence. So you do. You do. You find lots of evidence about Tyrell. You find maintenance scheduling. You find it looks like he was trying to get into Tyrell. Oh my god. Nobody panic. Nobody panic? Okay, it's over. Sorry. Something's happening with my computer. It's on the worst day possible. I'm telling you, it's Tyrell. Yep, it's Um, Tyrell trying to shut this down. Okay. Is there anything that would suggest a timeline? Um, yes. So, um, yes, actually. There, there would be. Um, because he was very specific about the the scheduling and the timing on when he was getting into the building. Um, So you see schedules and dates for, I believe, five weeks ago. It looks like he was studying at least five weeks back. The routes, the times, Um. the schedules of people in Tyrell for specific floors as well. Okay, all right. Um... Okay, so I see this. I'm going to take it all in and digest it as as fast as I can. Um, Now I'm going to look for anything that might suggest what he was going to do next. Because if I'm looking at these schedules and this timeline that was weeks ago, and Mm -hmm. this area looks like he has not... Either he came back initially and then he left... Or he didn't come back. I'm not sure which one. 
as you know, as Bob, I'm not sure. I'm looking at, at everything. I'm trying to be objective. I'm looking to what would he do after that if he did this. I don't know what, exactly what he was doing, but I know he was trying to get in Ty- Tyrell. So now I'm looking to see, assuming that he may have been successful with whatever the fuck he was doing, where was he going to go next? And I'm uh, also going to reach over to the mm-hmm. squishy <laughs> yep. and pick it up. Okay. Um, you can, first of all, I don't think there would be any info for what he was doing beyond this point, but I always sure. like leaving something up to chance. So go ahead and roll for me, um, but okay. it'll be at a disadvantage. Um, it, I think it would need to be some sort of intuition uh, because it's going to be gut instinct that you are able to figure this out. So a level of, so insight again? Yes, I think it would be insight. Okay. Any issue with uh, disadvantage or normal? I, I think it's going to be at disadvantage um, just because, well, actually... So the, I would argue. The origi- yeah, the original... <laughs> no, please do, because it's now PvP, and I'm trying to make sure that it's fair across the board. But sure. in this instance, I think you 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 know Sam. You knew to come yeah. here, and we're making an intuition roll, which, which means, you know, like, the reason I was going to impose disadvantage is because I just don't think he would be... He's making a plan five weeks ago, and then as soon as he did the plan, he never came back here again, right? Like, because he's smart and he moves from location to location. So there shouldn't be anything else other than what he did five weeks ago here, but you're not using your eyes, you're using intuition. So I think you can do a normal roll. Okay. Do you have an argument for an advantage or something other than that? Uh, Sam, before, before Galen, Sam um, was probably, I mean, he was like, he was definitely my my best best friend. He yeah, he he treated me like family, which is something um, which was felt foreign. Um, so in turn, he's one of the rare people that I got to know. Um, yeah, I really can't argue for advantage. I uh, I would argue for a normal role just because if I knew. If I knew that Sam was going to do this, I'm making the assumption that Sam was aware of his uh, replicant status uh, and that he was going there to get more information. So I would assume that he would also have some sort of exit plan, something he would do after the fact, which could involve, if he was willing to do this, then how much further is he willing to go? Right, okay. And knowing Sam, he was devastated. He was angry. He might want a deeper level of revenge, but I don't know. What, if it were you, what would you want? What would you do? As, as, as Bob, what would I do? Yeah. Like, I mean, if, if, if this. If I, if I found out, if I'm, if I'm in his situation, uh, Oh, yeah. I mean, because of because of Chio and the kind of person she was, Sam would want to help. He would he would seek out the underground. Okay. Okay. So now you can have advantage, because that was intuition, okay. and you role played your way through figuring out what he would do. So you can roll your insight with advantage. All right. Here we go. I got a three on that one. That's two crits. Okay, so I think what we should do is... um, Okay, so your intuition is he would help. He would seek out the replicant underground. Uh, So I'm going to give that to you. Yes, that you are correct. That is exactly what he did. I feel that that is the direction. Yes, and you feel... Not only do you feel he went to search out the replicant underground, but... I think for you, you're looking at this schedule. I think Sam was trying to get evidence of what he thought he knew. And the answer was at Tyrell. So you might, you will find out more if you go there. Yeah. I, I'm holding the squishy. I think these, these ideas, these thoughts fall into place, I immediately run out of there and yep. I start running towards Do Galen. you take anything with you here? Just the, just the squishy. Are you sure? Last time. <sighs> what 
But I think that could be used. Oh. How much stuff is here? It's how much? It's a lot. It's plans, it's roots, it's it, if you if you are planning to go to Tyrell, yeah. And use I would any of this roots. information, then they will be able to figure out that this is where you went, this is what you saw. If you leave yeah. anything behind, Sawyer and Selma are going to find it. Yeah. Okay. And because That's I had fair. to explain that to you, I think you no, should no, leave no, no. some I, things I get behind. It. I'm just trying to yes. think of the uh, yeah, yeah. the headspace that I'm in right now yeah. because my goal, you know what? No. I might take a list of the uh the the schedule or whatever he had that was kind of surface level um that might have been written out like a this is when this happens these are the corridors if there's yep. anything that's on a paper or two yeah like that yeah. i will grab it okay but i'm not grabbing everything so you'll I'm grab not... the blueprints then yeah yep. oh yeah, yeah. i grab those okay. in a heartbeat you grab the blueprints yeah. with the root but i'm gonna say that um like behind you leave the the other stuff you did sure. roll you did roll a critical success on your insight though which is why i asked you are you sure and then followed up so right. the mm -hmm. roll can back you up for clearing this place out to cover your tracks and sam's i'm not just yeah. you know taking pity on you it, your oh, role sure. was insane but so, I, I i don't think the only thing i'm worried about is i fired a gun we are on the run yep. i mm -hmm. found what i what i needed, needed at least and to you're some degree. okay yep yeah so I'm, right. I'm out of there everything else just has to be what it is uh so I'm gonna run out of there. Do you take the squishy with you? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. I I didn't leave that. I I I I don't even know if I consciously recognize it. I just know I picked it up at first and and like held it, um, and then everything came into place. I grabbed the uh, the blueprints and then I was out. Okay. Um, I'm going to run out of there quickly, uh, and I'm aiming for the alleyway that we came from. Okay. Um, I'm not going to acknowledge Galen because, again, I don't know if we're if we are seen or being seen at any yeah at all. You would know until the the cops show up. So, I'm not going to acknowledge him, but I am going to run in that direction and hope that he follows. I'm assuming that I, Galen does follow. Uh, I'm trying. Yes, I'm okay. trying to think how I would do this. Uh. I think if Bob is running, mm -hmm. I would run as well. Okay. Because I'm I'm imagining that this is a rush now. Now right. our covers covers been blown. Yep. We need to get the hell out. And you guys out. are running. Okay. So yeah. the last thing we see of you two is you booking it down the street. And now we're gonna switch scenes. Sawyer, where are you? I am on a rain slick rooftop. A different rooftop to last time, but same sort of area of town as my last rooftop meeting. Same locale. And very similarly to last time, I am waiting. I'm just under an overhang that's keeping the rain off me, and I am folding an origami bird as I wait. How long do you wait? Do you think? The message I sent to her was urgent. Okay. Then you probably don't wait too long. Hmm. Are you all right? Hey. Yeah, I am. Things are getting pretty crazy at the moment, aren't they? Yeah. Are you in trouble? Um. No, no, I'm. I'm not in trouble. I just. Uh, it is good to see you. Good to see you too. Are, uh, are you okay? It's 
kind of a loaded question, but yeah, I'm okay. That's good. Uh, I'll be better when some of them can get out or away. I know. You're running, you're trying to get out at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I, I brought, I brought some names for you. They get priority. And of course. I, I'm not, I'm not going until they're all out. I see. I... Them first. I did a rush job on yours. I have papers here for you. It's got everything you need. All you need to do is uh, connect with a contact who can replace your eye with a, a pleasure models. It'll, uh, people aren't coming down as hard on the pleasure models. It would be safer for you to disguise yourself as one of them. I... I can't run, Sawyer. Ah. You... You realize what you'd be asking me to do? Turn my back on everyone? My, my identity? I can't. They've done so much for me. I, I... They're gonna get you killed, Rose. I think that was decided a long time ago. I try to offer the packet of papers to her to take. Is... I... I appreciate it, Sawyer, I do. But I can't just... People need me. I can't just leave them. It's like you. It's not always easy, but it's the right thing to do. I, 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 I can't just abandon them. Because, because I was lucky enough to love someone that has connections that can get me safe that's not fair I can't keep doing this job if you're in this city I can't hold both those things true at the same time it's not possible for me And if I don't do this job, I don't know what else I can do. I honestly don't. I just want you to be away from it all. (laughs) That's a privilege we don't get. I don't get to walk away from it. It's who I am. Uh, No matter where I go, unless it's off world, good luck. I approach and I put my hands on her shoulders and I look into her eyes. You never told me how much time you have left. Why is that? Why wouldn't you tell me? I don't want you to look at me different.
I want you to be safe. You'll keep me safe. You'll keep me safe. They'll keep me safe. I'll, I'll keep me safe. I can do they that. They can't keep you safe. The hammer is coming down. Things are changing. A lot of people are going to die. A lot of people are dying. Tell me what to do. What do you think I should do? If you were in my shoes. It's hard. It's hard to imagine myself. It's... almost painful to allow myself to imagine what that kind of freedom is like. I don't feel free. But you are. So do whatever you want. Because you can. As she says that, I lean in and I kiss her. And I kiss you back. There is a muzzle flash. And I immediately place my hand on the back of her head and I cradle her against my shoulder so that I don't have to look into her eyes. My hand is on my subcompact, which I've had pressed against her heart. I grab up and I grab your coat, which is my coat, you asshole. And I let Kill go. Your heart. And I'm reaching, I'm scrambling for something inside my coat. I'm desperately grabbing at something and then I crush it in my hands before I die. And I slowly lower her to the ground. I assume the thing that she crushed was the, yep. the names. That's right. I take the broken device and I put it into my pocket and I pass my hand over her face. I close her eyes and then I I open a comms channel to dispatch. Central Dispatch, this is Blade Runner Sawyer Clark. At my location, I require one meat rat, one meat wagon, one replicant for the morgue. Please inform Deputy Chief Holden that I am returning to HQ. Okay. Do you need any backup? Medical? For yourself, I mean? Just something to get a body back. All right. Well done. I holster my pistol and I sit next to her body on the rooftop in the rain as 
Blood is pouring out and being mixed and washed away by heavy rainwater. And I just sit there, still and patient, waiting for the people that'll come and collect her and take her away. First thing I'm going to do is make a connections roll. Yep. And it was it was going to be a disadvantage, but we discussed that it yep. would That's right. be a regular. Did it roll? Oh, it did. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, <laughs> that's a success. All right. So do you want to tell them what this um, roll is for? To, I want to re-roll that too. Oh, okay. To yeah, you're going to push like it. Like yeah, okay. Uber duber success. Yep. Uh, there we go. Wow. There, there and you go. did. Okay. So he pushed it and went from a two to a three. Okay. Yep. Why don't you describe? Oh, but we just, this is, this is for what we described, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see now why you pushed it. All right. So, uh, I use a, uh, I'm not sure like, <sighs> Pay, okay. pay phone or <laughs> it's it's a vid phone so the way that they describe it is basically it looks like a pay phone but it does video sure. technology like a skype call <laughs> all right i know uh i know exactly the person to contact for this and uh it's a uh i'm gonna, I'm gonna do you mind if i spring one on you an npc yeah go for it okay um it's a uh a real skinny, like, okay. punk rock, punk rock and looking uh, chick. Okay. She's got tattoos all over. She's got tons of piercings. Okay. Probably some spiky green, blue hair, or something like that. Okay. Um, but she's known around, um, in lower, the lower element of of society as mm -hmm. being good at good at her job, and I've had a couple of run-ins with her, and we've. I've maintained her as a contact and as uh, someone I can call. Okay. In uh, calling a favor on. Okay. And have you done her favors in the past? Like, how warm would she be to you? You rolled a three. I, yeah, so I'm going to assume. That, I, think, yeah. I think she'll she'll be um, happy to see you. Even we, we might even have had like a, a romantic tryst in the past. Okay. Okay just a fleeting like little hookups rather than yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. okay yeah, yeah. all right sounds good yeah uh and you're on a video so call. i call her up yep okay um let's see uh her name's emma i m m a okay And so it's a video call, so she yep. can see my face mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I call her, and she picks up. Hey, this isn't. Uh, oh wow, that's a that's a that's a like look. It. That's a look. I'm not not yeah. sure I do, to be honest with you. I like yeah. the I like the. This isn't your number either. What's going on? Need your help. I got a, I got a job I need you for. Okay. Okay. I like the sound of this. I know you've pretty much, um, cleaned up as far as the law. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is yeah. the best day of my life. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to make you ask it though. So go on. 
I need your expertise. <laughs> when now, and where? Now, wait, now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. But I'm going to tell you. Okay. I'm not telling you who this is for or what this is about, but I can, t I can tell you that uh -huh. I got all the best toys. <sighs> I procured them. Okay, last question. How much yeah. trouble can I get in? On a scale of one to ten? Yeah. Nine? Can we push that to an eleven? Well, that depends on how big a splash you want to make. Send me the address. I'll be there in 20 minutes. All right, I'll see you there. And, uh... I don't have to tell you, but it needs to be said. This is a me and you thing, not an anybody else thing, okay? All right. And that's important for mine and your safety. 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. All right. You, you look sure good, you're all right? Way. Thank you. You too. I think no. it's growing on me. To answer your question, I am not all right. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be all right again. Exciting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta say, I like you better on this side. I never really quit, by the way. I know. Someone like you. I mean... I know what sex with you is like, and, uh, it was better for you. Your job. It always was. See you there. See ya. All right. Turn off the thing. Yep. Now what do you do before you go here? Because <coughs> I, I need to know how much time you take. I don't take any time. Yeah, I, I, I didn't know, think so. I know yep, the fucking yep, clock is ticking. Yep, yep, okay. Clock's ticking. All right. Okay, so we will say that um, you arrive uh, in 20 minutes. She's already there. Uh, Emma, God you damn. said, right? Yeah. Fast. All right. Okay, what's so the plan? So this doesn't have to look like anything. No, but, nothing uh, at all? An insurance job. Okay. All right. That's all it's got to look like, okay? Okay. I can I can handle that. And I, uh, I have the, I have the, the entrance, I'm guessing, like, a key or card or something like that to, like, um, Ooh. the back way or something like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would. You would. You're right. Yeah. Yep. Any, yeah. any, basically anything you're doing around here will probably yep. be kind of at an advantage as well. Yeah. Um, yep. All right. So um, I, I take her in, mm -hmm. and uh, I flip on, like, just the, the running lights, and you can see the sign Electric Dreams just comes to life. Okay, so what's with this right. place? And how many floors? Better make it three. Are you sure that's, uh, I mean, if there aren't three and we use three, there somebody could three. get hurt. Okay. There's this up here. There's this. Uh-huh. But what we really need to do is make sure down there in the cellar, we got to make sure that doesn't survive. Okay. Uh, okay. Can you get down there? Yeah. All right, show me. Okay. Now, um... What you may see or may not see down there, you're going to want to, to pretend you never saw it. And I'm not... That's not a threat. You'll understand. But, um... By going down there have knowledge 
I could get me, you, people in trouble are killed. Okay, I just want you to know the severity of it before you walk in. Okay, good, 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 good people killed? Your, no. Your people killed I mean, or well, my people killed? You're involved now. You can walk away and your name will never be mentioned. But once you see what you see, if there's something to be seen, you'll have to live with that. And you'll have to probably be quiet about it. Holy for shit. Quite a long time. This is sick. Okay. 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 God I'm damn. in. I'm in. I am in, baby. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I missed you. All right. And I go to the <laughs> to the secret wall. I do my little secret thing that, you know, I... Yeah. Say the say the say the password. She's super fucking into it too, by the way. Oh, this yeah. is some espionage shit. And she's just like, oh yeah. my god, there's a false wall. And as you guys are going down, she's yeah. just like she's very energetic. She's probably on yeah. some drugs, some speed of some sort, chewing gum, you know, that kind of thing. Yep. Okay. But Comes in. I went take her down to where Nara and I met for the first time. Okay. And she has uh switched into work mode, uh, where she's okay. going to go ahead and start to rig up this place to blow. Now and I'm, we, and I'm letting her tell me yep. what to do, and I'm just following orders. Now, we had some stipulations, and what's crazy about this, audience, is I need you to know that Zeke messaged me to blow up this place before they said they wanted to raid Electric Dreams, which is why I asked them if they were sure how much time they wanted to take. I it, wasn't sure, like, I wasn't sure we were going to talk about that before yeah. or after the show, yeah. but, like, what, yep. it all hinged yeah. on whether we could get this done, whether they went to see Natalie first or came here first. Yep, that's the agreement that Zeke and I made. First, they went so to Natalie like, first, so we were like, okay, it's on, I, baby. Yep, it's on, let's go. Uh, otherwise, they would have had a chance to run into him here. Uh, yep. And and Zeke was great about it. He was like, that's fair, man, because I said I was going here. So, yeah, no no take backsies. Um, okay, and so. I was sitting there going, here's the decision. They're going to make their choice. Yeah, and yeah, we were They're both sitting there like, oh, my God. And then they went to Natalie, and I was like, whoa. Yep. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so anyway, um, so now um, let's go ahead. Well, just so everybody knows it wasn't, you know, planned or whatever. It was just crazy the way it happened. Um, PvP is no, great. came up with the idea, yep. and, and then they, they were, were like, we're going to raid it like, tonight. And I was like, the what? The <laughs> thing is, whether it worked out or not, it would have been great either way. Yep. Yep, either way. Um, okay, so, but now, because I don't have a character sheet for this person and their explosives, we need to get creative about what you're going to roll um, for there to be, uh, you know, for what this looks like. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but per our agreement, I think you already rolled it. It was the connections roll, right? Yes, I yes. rolled the connections roll first. Yes, but wasn't that also to... How, yes, that yep. that, that okay. was also to see um, how big it is or how powerful. big yep. and how much time. Which is why yeah. you pushed it to get the the three, right? Yes, okay. indeed. Perfect. Because, yeah, we'll 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 talk about it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Anyway, she's ready to go. <laughs> okay. So I. Uh, Now this is this is in like the middle of a building, right? Yeah, it's, okay. She's put the main so, explosive down in the basement. Okay. Yep. So it's gonna but we're not like here. we're not destroying the structure of the building, just the stuff inside of it, right? Because if I if we destroy the structure of the building, the building would, might come down, right? Yes. I forgot about so that. So it's more of a flame, yeah. than an explosion. Yes. Like I mean, flame, it's gonna be a little bit. Up all, yeah. All oh like God. computers, electronics, and stuff like that, but not enough to burn up. Um, I will. I, mean, I will yeah. give you that. A because you rolled three on your connections, which means you've yeah. got somebody who's competent. And even though sh explosions excite her, I think she cares too much about her reputation to fuck it up or to make yeah. the explosion bigger than it's supposed to be. So it will be yeah. exactly as you intend it to be. Um, okay. So there's going to be an explosion in this basement area, which is all insulated, but it's the only way to clear out the data that's in here if you're trying to do that. Yep. So it'll wipe that, uh, and then the flames okay. will rise up, and then they will consume the upper half of the building. But hopefully you'll have people here by then to take the flames out. So it's not going to okay. bother the structure of the building. But I can't cool. guarantee okay. that, you know, because if they, like, leave it, then, you know, then it's going to continue to rise and go up unless you want me to somehow rig up something that's going to, you know, uh, take the no, flames no, no, out no. when I, I'm done. I have, I, have, I have a plan. 
Okay, all right. Sort he's, of. He's sort got of. a plan. But, he's got um, a plan. I mean, it's. I mean, it's not that big of a plan. Um, you'll understand what I mean. Okay. Uh, so, My plan's bigger. Uh, as soon as everything is set, uh huh. I take um, um, Emma out to the the ride that we have. Okay. And before we do anything, yeah. I I make a a um a quick uh like would we would I have a way of communicating with Natra? Would she like give me a a, a KIA that we could share? Like you know, like the equivalent of a burner phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um. Yes, it, okay. I think she would defer, defer to your judgment. So you, if okay. you asked her for one of those, she would get you one of those. Cool. So I, okay. I just I, I sent her a message that says, "We're set. Go. No go. Question mark." Okay. Um. Sawyer, or Selma. I need one of you to roll observation. I can. Hey. All right. Observation. That's a two. Okay. You get a message back from Nara Anderson that says we're a go. Okay. I, I take the KIA and I hit the the numbers for the LAFD. Okay. And, and then there I there is now a timer, or unless you I are drop, gonna remote. I drop the KIA. Yep. Okay. So it's it's like, you know, ringing on the way down or whatever, so they'll pick up and they'll hopefully follow the signal. Yeah. Uh and then so I, I, I look at skip. Okay. Yep. I'm going to give you an opportunity to tell me what you do, Selma. I probably freeze. <laughs> I think I, I sit there. Mouth agape. Okay. You watch him drop something. Yeah. Uh, Skiff, you see her before you leave. You have an opportunity to say something. She's frozen, staring at you. I, I, I keep, I. Light the candle. And then I, uh, 